Looks like meat. Smells like meat. Feels like meat. Sounds like meat. And tastes? Mmm, pretty meaty. But believe it or not, there's no meat in this burger. Cool me. There's no doubt that most Aussies love their meat. In fact, we rank in the top 10 countries in the world for the amount of meat we chomp our way through. But in recent years, there have been more products appearing on our shelves, like my burger, that are made with plant-based ingredients, or things like gluten, soy and wheat. That's because a lot of people like the taste of meat but don't like the idea of killing animals or the impact that farming animals can have on the environment. Raising animals for meat takes up a lot of land and uses a lot of water. In fact, it takes more than 15,000 litres to get a single kilogram of beef. Plus, these guys can get pretty gassy and their burps and farts pump a lot of greenhouse gases into our atmosphere. But people do like their burgers, and that's why scientists are taking fake meat to a whole new level and growing it in a lab. Lab-grown meat is made from animal cells. Scientists take stem cells from a living cow and put them in a Petri dish with a serum high in nutrients. Under just the right conditions, those cells can grow and divide just like they do inside our bodies. Eventually, they develop into muscle tissue. The scientists say the result is meat. The first lab-grown meat patty to be publicly taste-tested cost a whopping $400,000 to produce. And the flavour? Mm. It's close to meat. It's not that juicy. Since then, more companies have started investing and the price has come down a lot. Some reckon it won't be long before lab-grown meat makes its way into our shops and onto our burgers. But the question some are asking is, should it be called meat? Some Aussie farmers say no. They say when people buy meat, they expect it to come from a farm-raised animal and not a Petri dish. Our beef, our lamb, our chicken, our pork um, and all the other uh, meat um, products, they should be called uh... meat and anything else they can come up with another name for, uh, for their product. Some would like to see laws that stop companies calling products meat if they're made of veggies or grown in a lab. And this debate is not just happening in Australia. Earlier this year, France decided to ban the words meat and milk for any products that don't come from animals. So, what do you guys think? Should lab meat be called meat or something else? And would you try it? I think I would because to see how it tastes comparing it to normal meat. I think I'd try it, but if I didn't like it, I don't think I'd eat them again. I don't think lab-grown meat should be called meat. I think it should be called something else, like steakin, like stem cell bacon. 